Hi everyone! Welcome to Tokyo Kitchen Japanese Cooking Class. I'm Yoshimi. Today, I'm going to show you how to make agedashi dofu. It's fried tofu in savory broth. Very simple dish, but so popular, especially among Asian people. And I can't remember how many times I was asked to show how to make it. So finally, here it is. At the end of the video, I will show you how I build a menu with this agedashi dofu. So stay with me till the end. Okay, let's get started. These are what you need to make four servings. One pack of tofu. I'm using firm tofu today, but you can use your favorite one. Half a cup of potato starch. Two tablespoons each of soy sauce and mirin. One teaspoon of sugar. Some ginger and green part of the leek or green onion as a condiment. And two packs of katsuobushi fish flakes. One for the broth and one for the condiments. Let's prepare the condiments first. So ginger. I'm going to grate it with the skin on, so I washed it really well. green part of the leek or green onion. Let's just make thin slices. Let's put it in a small bowl and set aside. Now, I'm making the sauce. 100 milliliter of water. One teaspoon of sugar. And two tablespoons of soy sauce. And mirin. One pack of katsuobushi fish flakes. All in the pot or frying pan. Turn the heat on and just bring it to boil. Once it comes to boil, turn the heat off and strain using small strainer. And the sauce is ready. As you heat up some vegetable oil in the frying pan, it's about one inch from the bottom of a medium to medium high heat. Let's prepare the tofu. Let's just take it out from the package. Cut it into eight blocks. And dry them with paper towel. You don't need to drain, drain it, just dry it.
Dust them with potato starch and fry. Try not to touch them too much until the outside is set. Fry for 3 to 4 minutes and it's slightly brown and I can feel it's nice and crispy. So let's take them out and drain. Let's serve tofu in a bowl. Put some sauce. About one third of the height of tofu. Grated ginger. Sliced green onion. and katsuobushi fish flakes. And agedashi dofu is ready to go. Time for the tasting. It's in the sauce, but still crispy on the outside and melting soft inside. Tofu can be a little bit too plain, but with the savory sauce and the condiments, it's so flavorful and absolutely delicious. This is how standard Japanese combo style meal looks. Rice, soup, main, one or two side dishes. Agedashi dofu is a side, so let's put it here. 
and some sort of pickles, either store-bought or homemade for the other one. How about spicy pork rice here, miso kuramu chowder here, and let's pass them in. I hope you enjoy the meal. That's all for today. Thank you so much for watching. More videos coming up on every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, so don't forget to subscribe and turn the notification bell on so that you don't miss anything. Bye!